Hi there Capricorn, welcome back to your September 2017 How does he or she feel about your video? Um, this particular private consultation which I'll take you through is actually available as a private uh, reading as well so do have a look in the description box below. Um, I will be shuffling the cards on camera also so please do just click on the timestamp um, in order to dive straight into the video. Uh, once I'm done I'll take you through the spread. That nearly just burnt. <laughs> Have to be careful next time. These cars are crazy. Like to fly around. Right. Oh, thank God the poor Oracle card didn't actually burn. Lucky me. Um, right. So, anyway, let me take you through the spread. Um, for those of you that are returning you know how this works for those of you who are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by um basically as you saw i have used two um identical raider weight uh, tarot decks um the top pro is actually to assess how do you feel about the person you're inquiring about this is a vast array of scenarios uh, for those of you who only are um inquiring about a romantic interest to those who actually been with someone for let's say 30 years and you still want to know what they actually feel about you um, I have pulled out Romance Angels uh, Oracle cards also to see how each person um, message is coming through individually. And the bottom row is how does that person feel about you? The main point of this is, is that if the top row resonates with you, uh, do watch the bottom row because experimentally speaking, that should also resonate how uh, the other person also feels towards you. Um... If you are cross-watching for Capricorn, obviously the bottom row should resonate with you. So then the top row would resonate with Capricorn's feelings for you. Um, yeah, so if, if this does not resonate, do check your moon or your rising sign also. It's not going to be applicable for everybody. So at the bottom of your deck, you have the King of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with a, an Aquarius in particular. Could also be a Libra or a Gemini. Maybe this person has been rather rash in the way they communicate with you. Uh, for instance, you know, being too impulsive or aggressive in their communication. Uh, there may be um, a fire sign female also involved in this. Could be an Aries in particular, but also Leo or a Sagittarius. Uh, which may have caused you some type of um, emotional disappointment due to their involvement. And you may have felt defeated. Nevertheless, you want a you want a loving new beginning with this person anyway. Although you may feel like uh, you're left out in the cold by them, you're you're willing to be there with them for better or for worse anyhow. And there will be movement, for successful movement forward. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a cancer or any of these uh, zodiac signs. I do mention uh, you may in fact have it in your own natal chart. So 
the, the, the first card we have for you is the eight of wands, meaning that you actually do want the communication. Um, you want the movement forward. Sometimes this can indicate travel also. But also Cupid's arrows and being struck by Cupid's arrows. Page of Pentacles can mean that you and this person have an earth sign child, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but um, also it could it could say that that person you're dealing with uh, could be younger than you or you're the younger one. And you, you are persistent with this situation also. In terms of, you know, you've been studying the whole dynamic for quite some time and although you're not quite sure how this is going to come about or how you may resolve the issues nevertheless you're willing to persevere you're trying to tightly grasp onto the situation and we have the two ones meaning that uh, you're waiting for this person to either communicate with you or come to see you because two ones can speak of travel since we see the globe being held in here then we do have the six of pentacles here meaning that you you want that give and take dynamic between the two of you or in some cases what i do see here is that one of you is already committed with this with the scales that normally indicates uh, contracts um you know but um you may have been given attention to someone else on a side who may be more physically appealing to uh, to you or it could be the other person the other person may actually be already committed uh but they may have been um Given, given all their attention to somebody else or in fact it could be that your spouse may have been doing that that's why you know you may be feeling left out in the cold and there was that rash irrational communication and we have the knight of pentacles some of you may be dealing with a virgo in particular you may have virgo in your natal chart or could be also a capricorn or a taurus um nevertheless uh, the knight of pentacles can say that you and this person have been together for quite some time or you may have known each other for quite some time because this is a very slow moving energy it has been a long road in some cases quite a dull one too because the harvest in the background does not look too um fulfilling there so for the cards we have uh, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so obviously if you're in a relationship with this person some of you may actually be already engaged to this person your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment or you will be getting engaged or you're already engaged and you're married to this person now but i feel like that there, there may be for some of you not all of you like an outsider party that may have caused some type of conflict because when i'm looking down at this other person's spread we do have the sun so you know that they are seeking clarity within the situation or they do see a lot of positivity and optimism but then we have the high priestess so this person you may be dealing with is rather intuitive or spiritual uh may even be a tarot uh tarot reader or a clairvoyant um for some of you not all of you um, but also it could mean that both of you are actually intuitively connected. You connect on a spiritual and emotional level. Uh, this person could be a cancer. You may have cancer in your natal child, but also traveling and successfully moving forward. Uh, because um, your emotional wish should come true or they are emotionally wishing upon you. They feel rather emotionally content. But we do have the three of uh, cups meaning. I don't, of course there has been you may have met this person through a social gathering or some type of celebration or of course for some of you it could actually be a three three-way uh, uh situation and also we have the nine of swords which could potentially cause them a lot of guilt anxiety and stressful sleepless nights because they have succumbed to temptation not for all of you but this is also of course your own card which could indicate that you know there is this codependency or unhealthy attachment or you may be involved with an Aries in particular who may have been quite controlling and manipulative towards you. That's why, of course, your own energy is coming through, but also in some cases, of course, codependency or some type of unhealthy habits. And maybe this person has not been really emotionally fulfilled in the situation, therefore walked away, um, which made them feel rather defeated, or they will be for this month. So... Because what I really see here is actually uh, someone getting separated, someone trying to make a decision, but it could be because this other person is actually involved with somebody else, but they haven't um, 
integrating themselves uh, and moving towards you and they are liberating themselves from whatever commitment there was because your cards are quite uh, relatively uh, well more positive than what we see here because at the bottom here they have the three of uh, swords meaning that they may, may feel heartbroken or sorrowful triadic involvement once again this you see the three number pattern keeps on repeating itself right next to it we have three of wands this person is waiting for the ships to come in or waiting for you to communicate with them or move forward travel as i have said as well but two threes here meaning calm so i feel like they do they may be calm in terms of that you may be not communicating as of at this given moment although you want that communication or there will be communication there may have been at the beginning of september but we do have the judgment meaning this person needs to make a final call also in order to move forward or liberate themselves from a previous situation which we have the hierophant here the holy matrimony card meaning getting these two cards with a judgment could literally mean this person is trying to liberate themselves from the commitment that they're already in if, if this is not your spouse for some of you of course it could be your spouse and that may be even applicable here but if it doesn't then you know this these messages are not for you and we have the two of swords meaning that this person is actually trying to make a decision quite a serious one if you have been seeing someone who is committed uh, rest assured they are actually uh, thoroughly contemplating upon um ending their commitment because the two of swords normally also implicates the fact that they are assessing the situation which they see both options as equal opportunities 50 50 type of uh odds there but um you know after the eclipse as i've said before which we had at the end of august uh, within the next six months from there on if, if someone was trying to liberate themselves get separated get divorced it should be happening in this time frame and we have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations you see uh, and we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so i feel like is this other person who may be committed and you know they know they met them they may have met their soulmate but they need to liberate themselves from their ex also in order for this to progress and move forward